Is it time to ditch the sleeping bag and go with a really good quilt instead? In this video we're going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of using a quilt and also a configuration option which should help you out when it gets a bit cold and windy. So before we get started in this video, um, let's just talk about why I'm trying this. I'm trying this because I like the weight savings and the comfort that a quilt can provide. I do get a bit um, claustrophobic in a sleeping bag so I like to move around a lot. I'm a side sleeper and I think a quilt could be just a ticket for me having a much lighter base weight and a better night's sleep in general. Now this isn't a review of the Enlightened Equipment Revelation quilt because there's tons out there already, you've probably seen most of them. Um, but this is going to show you a configuration that you can use with a mummy sleeping bag and the right size quilt to keep you warmer at night, keep the drafts out and also give you the same benefits being able to move your legs a lot more and be able to move around in bed without getting all rustled up. So it's a video just talking about those kind of things. Okay let's quickly go over the main advantages of using a quilt which you probably already know but let's cover them anyway. Um, there's considerable weight savings. You can open your quilt out fully, so this gives you a lot of configuration options. There's a lot more room to move around under a quilt. You can open it up again to vent if you get too warm. There's no down under you, so um, you're saving weight there because when the down is under you and you're sleeping on it, it's basically losing the insulation. And it's easy to clean and Pretty much they're the main benefits. Now sadly there are some disadvantages to using a quilt rather than a sleeping bag. The main disadvantage I can see is um, it does get a, a little bit more drafty because you're not really you're not really zipped in to a quilt as you are with a sleeping bag. There's also the area around the neck on the sleeping bag and most times you do get a, a mummy style hood. That is also missing on the majority of quilts out there. There can be some disadvantages with down migration when the quilt is over you, depending on the map baffle design. This isn't the case in this model, but if it has got horizontal baffles, sometimes the down migrates to the side when it's laying on top of you. So really, the main advantage over using a sleeping bag to using a quilt is you can control your microclimate a lot easier with a sleeping bag. Because everywhere is tucked in and you get baffles around the neck area and you can put your hood up and things like that. And because it's sealed at the bottom and it can be sealed around the sides, it's much easier to maintain a microclimate. The microclimate is all about keeping the warm air in and the cold air out and also keeping the warm air away from the surface of the material where the cold air brushes against. This is really important when you want to maintain temperatures. And the more ability you have of maintaining your microclimate, the warmer it can be. Okay, because we are comparing the quilt and the sleeping bags, I think it's important to go over the stats, weights and comfort ratings that each one provides. Now this one here is the Montane Alpinist sleeping bag. This has a comfort limit of minus 12 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It weighs 1.45 kilograms, which is, which is 1,450 grams, and that equates to 51 ounces. It costs me 382 pounds, which is quite expensive. Now, this is another sleeping bag of mine. This is the Montane Minimus sleeping bag. It's got a comfort limit of minus 2 degrees Celsius, which is 28 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes in a weight of 1,005 grams, which is 35.4 ounces, and it costs 337 pounds. Moving on to the Enlightened Equipment Revelation. This is the long and wide version with 950 fill power down because I wanted to keep it as light as possible. This has a comfort limit of minus 6 degrees Celsius, which is 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's the 20, 20 degree version. This comes with a weight of 656 grams, 
which is 23.16 ounces and costs me with import duty and delivery 340 pounds so not quite the cheapest but by far the lightest of the three so we did talk about how we could make a quilt better in cold and drafting environments now if we can control the microclimate more we can stay warmer in a quilt for longer and use all of the advantages a quilt can provide such as the ability to move the weight savings the ability to lay it out flat all those good stuff so why am i interested in using a quilt over a sleeping bag well i'm interested in using a quilt for the weight savings and for the ability to move around in the quilt um, i'm a keen woods camper so basically i trek it to a good wood camping spot um, set up my gear get a wood fire going got a nice bit of privacy and that's pretty much my comfort zone when i like to go hiking and camping now i want to broaden my horizons so i want to start going up hills and mountains and sleeping up there to get uh, videos and photographs of the sunset the sunrise and the stars so in order to do that i'm looking to shave some weight off my my base weight of the big three and one of the main ways you can do that is to start using a quilt now my main concern with using a quilt is i'm also using a single wall tent now depending on the configuration of your single wall tent you have to let it ventilate because condensation can be an issue now in order to let it ventilate you've got to allow more air to flow through it this could be an issue when it comes to using a quilt as they can be more drafty than a sleeping bag so the method i'm going to show you now is an idea that i had in mind to try and exclude the drafts as much as possible while using the advantages of a quilt right so as you can see this is a mummy style sleeping pad from expert this is a expert winter light it's the normal length but it's a wide version because i rustle around like my sleep now a lot of people when they use a quilt they actually use the quilt and they use the quilt over their bodies but not over the sleeping pad which i shall show you um, and merge with this video now that presents a few problems i can see when you're in a windy and cold environment because it allows more drafts to go under your quilt and also you're going to be warming up your sleeping pad which is then going to dissipate in the air in the cold tent so i think using that method you basically you're wasting a lot of heat only when it's in a cold and drafty environment if it's in summer it'd be perfect now with this method i'm going to show you now we're going to create a foot box with the quilt and then we're going to tuck the pad into the quilt and then wrap it round and then cinch it down using the straps underneath so it's kind of like a cover that doesn't move so you can actually get into your quilt without it being wrapped around you fully which I shall show you in a second so to get started we're going to create the foot box in the enlightened equipment revelation quilt by doing a zipper up at the bottom and then fastening up the snaps best to do this to protect the zipper and then drawing the cord in like so cinching it down I mean we all know how to create a foot box and a quilt so this is just going through the motions to get it shown so there you go pretty good foot box and the quilt now very easily you basically tuck the pad in so the foot end goes into the foot box so it's kind of tucked in nicely like that so as you can see what you're doing you basically put your pad in your quilt dead easy but this allows you to keep it over you and cinch it down using the straps without it coming over you and you also keep your microclimate better because you're heating up your pad 
and keeping the warmth in there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut to the scene of me getting in and out, show you moving around and then we're going to go over some of the um, hurdles I think that will affect my sleep. So there we have it, a very simple configuration to try and keep the draft out and also to maintain your microclimate you know, much better when it gets cold and windy. Now there's a few limitations as you can probably see. Um, when, I was in the, when I was in the system, quilt system, um, I did have some trouble trying to keep my shoulders um, covered so not to lose my microclimate. Um, I'll have to try and figure something out for that, I mean obviously I'm going to wear a hat but I think if it's windy it's going to let air in, so that's a disadvantage I need to address. Um, also it's not quite as um, freedom giving in the foot area as it would be if it wasn't tucked in, so if it was sitting on top of the pad it would be much better, but I'm still slightly constricted as I am in a normal sleeping bag in the foot area. Now I'm willing to tweak that and modify it and accept it because I like the advantages of weight that this system can provide. Um, so if I can stay warm in the same environment as I would do with a sleeping bag, I'd be very happy. Now on my next outing, instead of going to the woods as I always do, I'm actually gonna go up a hill and it's approaching winter and it gets a bit windy in the UK as you could probably probably guess so this is going to get a really good test this system so if I can go up a hill in my single wall tent that is well ventilated and use this system not be too cold keep the drafts out I'd be very happy with that because moving to a quilt from my cold sleeping bag it saves me quite a bit of weight so that's great so there we have it thanks for watching like i say i'm going to use the quilt in my next outing if you like this video please get a thumbs up if you've got any questions whatsoever regarding this kind of setup please leave them in the comments i shall reply to every sensible one um, and hopefully i shall give you good results on my next outing thanks for watching